summer in Ludington is here. Well, almost. And that means that it's time to plan my trip. I figured I would cover a few of my favorite recommendations. This is 16 extremely specific things that I can personally recommend to do this summer. Number one, the shoreline cruise. The SS Badger has plans for a few shoreline cruises this summer. So take the Badger, grab a boat drink and a snack and head up to the bow and watch the sunset on Lake Michigan while cruising on a national historic landmark. Make sure to bring one more layer of clothing than feels necessary, no matter what time of the year it is, because it makes staying out on the deck longer and more enjoyable. Number two, paddle the Pier Marquette River. There's a small launch point across the street from Pier Marquette Expeditions called Pier Marquette River Access. Put in here and meander up the river. If anybody is keen on fishing, I know that it can be a lot of fun there because I've personally caught a few fish while paddling that section of the river. Boom. What is that for you? Number two. Nice. Number three, a 15 minute photo contest at Waterfront Park. The statues, the lake, marina, and the badger view offer plenty of subject matter, so let me explain what the contest actually is. Get a group of anywhere from 3 to 10 of your friends, and then have them get their phones or camera out. Set a timer for 15 minutes, and spread out. The goal is to attempt to capture the most interesting photo in 15 minutes and have to be back to the starting spot before the timer runs out. Send the photos in a group chat and have everybody vote on their favorite. The main rule here is that you have to vote for somebody else's photo. You can't vote for your own. Tally up the winners and the winner gets ice cream at House of Flavors. Preferably cookie dough in a waffle cone. Well, that's what I would choose, but I'll let the winner decide. Number four through seven, this is rapid fire and it's pick a patio. And I said I was going to be extremely specific about what to do, so here goes. Ludington Bay Brewing, get a Tangelo Dream and a pizza to share, a margarita pizza to be exact. Jamesport Brewing, appetizers, a beverage, and play a few yard games in the new renovated area. Timber's back patio is lovely, especially if it can be timed so that you can watch the Badger return to port. Here's a unique one. Order takeout at your favorite restaurant and make Stearns Park your own giant patio, complete with waves, beach, skate park, and sunset. That's seriously good. I didn't mention every single patio that Ludington has to offer because there are so many to choose from, but I wanted to be specific with the thing that I enjoy while I'm on those patios. All right, we're gonna continue on and we're halfway through this list, so let's take a lighthouse break. Now we can continue with these recommendations. Number eight, coffee and a walk. Grab a cup of coffee from one of the coffee shops, like the Red Rooster, and if you're there, get a pour over if you have time. Walk along the water and through downtown. There's just enough action that there's always something going on and something to see with easygoing vibes and public spaces that make it easy to meander till, I don't know, let's say lunch. Number nine, biking downtown. Most of what I've already talked about takes place from Stearns Park to the SS Badger Dock. And most of that area is flat enough that it can be easily explored on a bike. Beaches, shops, snacks, shuffleboards, museums, it's all available in just a couple mile radius. Number 10, Buttersville Beach. As a paddleboarder, Buttersville Beach offers something extremely special. On one side of the lake is Lake Michigan, and on the other, there's just this tiny path to Pier Marquette Lake. This is perfect for anybody looking for a spot to paddle with a couple of options and a bit of tree cover that makes it easy to find a spot that's out of the wind based on the direction that day. On a calm day, it's even possible to paddle over and say hello to the badger. Number 11, surfing in Ludington paddle surfing, body surfing, kiteboarding, or just straight up surfing. It can be done on Lake Michigan, and Ludington has enough varied coastline that it's possible to find a spot to surf even with the ever-changing conditions. 
Personally, I use the WindFinder app to predict the best spot to surf for that day. I would surf every single day if Lake Michigan would let me. But make sure that you stay within your own limits and pay attention to the changing conditions and the rules to stay safe, but still have an excellent time. Number 12, Ludington Urban Single Track Trail System. Say it with me, Ludington Urban Single Track Trail System. Yeah, it's a bit of a tongue twister, but it is the perfect description for what it is. Add up all the single track trails that meander through Ludington and follow the maps from park to park, it's easy to spend the majority of the day on the trails. Specifically, stop at this bench right here, uh, just because I like the views. Number 13, hire a charter fishing experience and then do the catch and cook program. Catching fish is great. Finding fish is hard. Getting them to bite is even harder. So I would recommend taking away some of that stress by hiring a charter. And now for the fun part that rounds out the experience. Ask your charter if they can set up a catch and cook. It's a program that allows charter fishing clients who catch fish to take their fresh catch to a participating Lettington restaurant who will then cook and serve that exact fish to the people who just caught it. This is one of my all time favorite memories from fishing. Number 14, Ludington is for sure a disc golf destination. And I haven't had a chance to play them all, but I do have two recommendations. Ludington School Forest Disc Golf Course is excellent for being in downtown and having a casual but challenging game. And then Leviathan, that is serious disc golf. It is so fun and so challenging, and it is a great time. No matter what anybody's playstyle is, there is a course to match it in Ludington. Number 15, the Hamlin Lake Dunes. Of course, Hamlin Lake is amazing, but there's one aspect of it that is special for me. There are dunes on the west side that are connected to Ludington State Park that run down into the water. Hike, paddle, or boat to one of these amazing dune stops and plan on being there all day. Well, at least that's what we do. The sandy lake bed is perfect for posting up and watching the waves roll by. Or in our case, watching this bald eagle that's up in the tree. Number 16, do something that's not on this list and then please tell me about it. I really can't list every single thing there is to do in Ludington and I want to continue to grow these lists and find new things to do while I'm there. So go have an adventure and then let us know what we are missing out on. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.